Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 and Saturday preview build for the Canary channel, which is the build 26257 for version 24H2. In this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, also what is fixed in this latest Windows and Saturday build for the Canary channel. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, related to the File Explorer, Microsoft is rolling out the ability to double duplicate a tab so whenever you are inside the file explorer and right click on a tab you're going to have this option duplicate tab so if you are for example in the pictures section you can just right click on it duplicate and you will be redirected with the new tab to that same location of the previous tab and i think this could be a pretty useful new feature related to networking if you use the net sh wlan show networks command you should be able to read ssids that are utf8 encoded this means that wi-fi ssids with unicode characters like emojis should be properly displayed in the NetSH output. Also related to the settings app and then system, then for developers, if you have the option end task, enable end task and taskbar by right click, enabled, it should no longer show a not responding dialog to give confirmation before ending the task. I think that is good. Also inside Bluetooth and devices and then mouse, you should notice two new options, one of them being enhanced pointer precision, which you can enable if you want directly from the new settings app and also scrolling direction, which you can change from down motion scrolls down to down motion scrolls up if you want. I think these two options are also pretty useful related to the mouse. Also now the system information section of Windows should follow your text size preference under settings, accessibility and then text size if you have a custom one selected. And there is also a new variant of the lock screen or the login screens animations inside this build and you can check that out on Phantom Ocean 3's Twitter if you want because he found that out so you can check that out there. And some of these new animations have also been noticed in certain pin dialogues across the operating system, which I think is pretty nice. We also have a few fixes in this build. For example, Microsoft fixed an underlying issue causing some insiders to see bug checks in recent builds citing kernel security check failure. Related to the file explorer, Microsoft did some work to help address an issue where the address bar dropdown might appear unexpectedly while you were using file explorer. And related to the settings app, Microsoft fixed an underlying issue leading to some of the pop-up windows and settings unexpectedly appear left aligned. For example, the window for selecting a custom color for dynamic lighting. And there are also a few known issues in this build but you can check those out in the article below or on the official Microsoft blog post. This is pretty much all there is to it to the latest Canary channel build, build 26257. If you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase until next time have a nice day.